Welcome to the Peptide Podcast. Today, we're going to talk about foods and supplements to boost GLP-1 levels naturally. So glucagon-like peptide 1 or GLP-1 is a hormone in the intestines that regulate blood sugar levels, also appetite and digestion. Increasing GLP-1 levels can be beneficial for people with diabetes, obesity, or metabolic syndrome. While medications like semaglutide and terzepatide exist to stimulate GLP-1 production, incorporating certain foods and supplements into your diet can also naturally enhance GLP-1 secretion. In this podcast, we'll talk about some of these foods and supplements and their potential benefits for gut health and metabolism. The first thing I want to talk about is soluble fiber-rich foods. Fiber is well known for its numerous health benefits, including improved digestion, weight management, and blood sugar control. Certain types of fiber, such as soluble fiber, have been shown to increase GLP-1 secretion. Things like oats, barley, and legumes, such as beans, lentils, and chickpeas, are really rich in soluble fiber. Even Brussels sprouts, avocados, and flax seeds have a lot of soluble fiber. Really incorporating these soluble fiber-rich foods into your meals can help support healthy GLP-1 levels and promote overall gut health. Remember, though, that soluble fiber absorbs water and creates almost a gel-like substance in your body. Because of this, staying hydrated and gradually increasing your fiber intake over over time is important to really help minimize digestive upset or constipation. The next thing I want to talk about is fatty fish. So fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, sardines, and trout are really an excellent source of omega-3 fatty acids, which have been shown to have numerous health benefits, including improving insulin sensitivity and increasing GLP-1 secretion. Incorporating fatty fish into your diet two to three times per week can really help support a healthy gut and metabolic function. Whether it's grilling, baking, or broiling fish with herbs and spices into a really delicious and nutritious dish is a really good way to enjoy these omega-3 rich foods. The next thing I want to talk about are nuts and seeds. Now, nuts and seeds are nutrient-dense foods with various health benefits, including supporting gut health and increasing GLP-1 levels. Almonds, walnuts, chia seeds, and flax seeds are particularly rich in fiber, also in healthy fats and antioxidants, which can really help stimulate GLP-1 secretion. Snacking on a handful of nuts or seeds and adding them to either your salads, yogurt, or smoothies, or you can also use them as a topping for oatmeal or baked goods are all easy ways to incorporate these nutritious foods into your diet. The next thing I want to discuss is lean proteins. Now, lean proteins, just like all the other foods that we talked about, can really increase GLP-1 levels and help maintain muscle mass. This is particularly helpful for people taking any GLP-1 medications like semaglutide since muscle loss and body fat can often occur when losing weight. It's important to offset this by eating as much lean protein as possible. Examples of lean proteins include fish, chicken, turkey, and eggs. You can even try incorporating lean cuts of beef, things like cottage cheese and tofu to really get a good source of lean protein into your daily nutrition. You'll also want to keep in mind that protein may also naturally reduce your appetite, which is great for those who are trying to lose weight. The next thing I want to talk about is curcumin. Now, this is a main compound found in turmeric, which is a spice that's widely used in traditional Indian cuisine, and it's also known for its potential anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. Studies have suggested that it may decrease blood sugar and increase GLP-1 levels. However, more research is needed to fully understand the mechanism underlying its effects on GLP-1 and its potential therapeutic applications in metabolic disorders. The next thing I want to talk about is yerba mate. Yerba mate is a traditional South American beverage made from the leaves of the elix plant. It is known for stimulating effects due to its caffeine content. It also contains polyphenols and saponins, which have been studied for their potential benefits, including fat loss and appetite reduction.
The last thing I want to talk about is berberine. We've talked about berberine before, but essentially it's a plant-based compound that's found in golden seal, barberry, and Oregon grape. It's been used in traditional Chinese medicine for centuries to treat many different ailments, including digestive disorders and even type 2 diabetes. Now, berberine has garnered attention for its ability to modulate glucose and lipid metabolism, partly through its effects on GLP-1 secretion. Thanks again for listening to the Peptide Podcast. We love having you as part of our community. And if you love what you've heard today, please share it with your friends and family on social media and have a happy, healthy week.